How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. I've got uh, the A8 LED aquarium light here on my unboxing bench today. So this light, uh, it's really interesting to me <laughs> just how truly identical it is to the Radeon XR30 in aesthetic terms. So the look of it uh, is, I mean, basically spot on to the Radeon XR30. What I want to find out is, does this light, you know, it's, this is the A8SE version, meaning this is the cheapest version of it that you can get. It doesn't have the Cree LEDs in it, but by the way, Cree LEDs are now made in China, so it's not, I mean, like, the everything in this is advertised as it's everything about it is Chinese. The LEDs are generic Chinese LEDs. The power supply is just a Chinese power supply, etc. It doesn't have the Meanwell power supply and the uh, the Cree LEDs that the A8 Pro version, which is like a hundred dollars more, it doesn't have that. This is a hundred. I got this on sale for like a hundred and seventy five bucks on AliExpress. So. We're going to see. Uh, I'm going to send this thing off. Uh, I'm just going to unbox it today, and then I'm going to run par testing on it. Uh, I'm going to take a, a close look at the specs of it in another video. I'm going to send it off to get Spectrum worked up on it, etc. cetera. Um, but let's not, uh, let's not wait around anymore for the unboxing video. Let's get rolling. I'm going to get rolling with the boring stuff first, which actually comes in a separate little box in the, uh, in the package that you receive. So this is your little adapter cable. And then this right here is the power supply that comes with it. And as you can see, I mean, the power supply itself is pretty, it's pretty heavy duty. I mean, <laughs> it does actually feel, it's not like a Happy Meal toy, like when you squeeze it, like a, like a Neptune Apex product. I mean, this feels more mean well like, uh, than I expected. Looks like, uh... I'm trying to look for a brand on there, and to be honest with you, I can't even see one. Yeah, I can't even see like a like a brand name. So that's what you expect. I mean, this was uh, <laughs> that's what was stated in the advertising on AliExpress was that the power supply was just going to be a generic po Chinese power supply. It does feel heavy duty, but that's just feel right. Um, that's all that that is, and it does state on there. Let's see here. It does state that it's UL listed. See that? So that's interesting. Huh. I'll have to look into that more. I'll have to type in uh, some of that, some of the words I don't understand on there and see if, uh, see if I can come up with a company name. But here is the box that the A8 comes in. Let's take a look at the box first. So, I mean, you know, obviously it's been banged around a factory. You can see that there's some like scuffs and stuff on it. It's got a little, I'm flipping around here. So you'll notice app control. So it does, this light does come with an app and reports are that the app has been vastly improved in the recent couple years. So hopefully uh, the app works, comes with uh, a little readout of just features and stuff like that on the box. Nice clean back on it. So the box is actually pretty impressive. Um, I thought it would come in just like a standard cardboard box, but no, I mean, they have like a, like a fairly well-finished box, despite the fact that like any Chinese product you get on AliExpress, it's going to get banged up on its way here. So you see like the scuffing. So let's take a look. Let's open it up and see, see what greets us. And I have not taken this out prior to, uh, prior to this video. All I did was cut it and open it up. So um, this is what you are met with right here. Oh, little, little QC card. Always nice to see. I mean, I always wonder in any factory, American or Chinese, uh, or German or wherever, what is the, what does this entail? Do they just plug it in and see if it works? Do they just glance at it? I don't know, but it's nice to see. It's a little bit of reassurance and then actually a nice glossy, uh, nice glossy little like quick start guide showing you the various features of the light giving you a few directions, operations info, etc. So that's pretty cool. Looks good. And here's the light. So the light two two QC cards. I'm I'm doubly reassured now. So here's the light itself. 
you know, you can see it wrapped up in there nice. You know, they didn't want the didn't want the lens to get scratched or anything like that, even by the little paper that's in there. So right away, you can see, I mean, doesn't this look familiar? <laughs> Looks super familiar to me. So I guess this is like a lift tab right here. No, oh, it just rips. Oh, here we go. I'm dumb. All right, let's pull this out. Good heft for sure. Um, maybe a little bit. I mean, I, I had, let's see, I had Radeon XR 15s, not 30s. So this is, yeah, about like the weight of a couple of XR 15s. So I've never had a 30. Um, but I bet you this is about as heavy as an XR 30 would be if I, if I had to, uh, if I had to guess. So let's pull it out of here. All right. So here we go. I'm going to get a bunch of fingerprints on it, but let's, let's take that off. Let's make it all, let's make it all satisfying when I pull it off. Nice. All right. So very, very glossy finish, which again, if you're familiar with Radeons, that, uh, that's what you can expect is that nice glossy finish on there. All right, so now you can see that nice, glossy, Radeon-like finish that it's got. Let's pick it up again. Well, before we pick it up, go ahead and take a look at uh, buttons, which feel very high quality, actually. Those buttons are, you know, that, like, soft-touch material, and they legitimately do. They feel just like Radeon buttons. They're super clicky, even, even though they're soft-touch. I mean, you can feel the, you know, thunk, thunk when you push down on them. And uh, I think that the grill over the fan is a little bit different actually i think that the if i remember back to my xr15 the grill was like a really fine metal mesh and this is metal but it's just like you know it's not it's it's not meshed like this it's just one direction on there not something that you're going to notice at first glance but that i think that is different unless the xr30 is different than the xr15 when it comes to that but i doubt it is so I'm curious to see if the the mounting situation is the same. Like, could you use an XR30 bracket with this? I don't know. Um, full disclosure, I am tapping a couple of 3D print sources to create a bracket that will fit this light and work with one of those Kessel mounting arms because the Kessel mounting arm is, you know, still pretty expensive, but it's really nice. It's re I think it's I think it's better than the uh, Radeon mounting arm for sure. So let's go ahead and pull this up and out. Let's take a look at the sides of this unit. So you can see the little A8SE version on the corner there. Nice, nice and low profile. Like it's not, it doesn't draw your eye that that's there. Fans uh, or fan ports, I guess, or exhaust ports, whatever you want to call them. They look well machined. You can see, you know, this is a... Uh, there's no scrape, scuffs, anything. The body feels just as strong as like a uh, as a Radeon body. It is plastic, but it's a nice plastic. And there's your there's your LED board there. Which again, I mean, right down to the layout of these these LEDs. I mean, it just <laughs> it just is identical, man. I mean, it is just identical to a Radeon. That's that's pretty wild, I gotta say. Um, wow, I mean, that's a that's a direct, you know, that's a very direct, uh, <laughs> in perfect keeping with <laughs> the Radeon XR30, visually, you know, at least upon first glance, you know. So, I'm also curious to see if like the the Radeon lens kit that narrows the uh that narrows the spread will work on this that they came out with so i'll test that as well what do they give you in here a little little cleaning cloth that's nice <laughs> little cleaning cloth and what's this here little little mounting kit stuff that they give you in there so that uh that's about it i mean you know <laughs> there's not that much more to say about it because i mean this thing is this thing is pretty much dead in keeping with a Radeon XR30. I mean, I am, I'm kind of blown away at just how much it they replicated. I mean, it is 
besides that little A8SE that you have in the in the you know corner, and maybe that little difference of the grill on top that you know allows the fan to uh, to blow through it. I, I just don't. It's it is an XR30 in in look right and in feel. Uh, now we're gonna see from here if it is an XR30 or at least in the ballpark of an XR30 in terms of actual performance, spectrum, how much par it puts out. We're going to look into all of it. So if you are interested to follow along on this journey as it takes shape through the holiday season, uh, go ahead and subscribe um, or or whatever, you know, um, or at least come back and check it out. All right, guys. Hope that was, you know, informative because... Uh, that's pretty interesting to me. We're going to find out. Take it easy. Have a good one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm back. One last thing. I noticed this while I was watching the video again. I can't believe I missed this. Check this out. So you can disconnect the power cord from the actual body of the light. And I'm pretty sure on a Radeon, you cannot do that. It's just permanently wired in. That alone is a pretty awesome thing, right? That's what I can do with my Refi Uno 2.0 Pros. So uh, yeah, you can just disconnect the cord and move the light around and do what you need to do to manipulate it and then just reconnect. That is pretty sweet. All right, I'm done.